Hi, my name is Jelko Kovacevic and today I'm going to continue with my uh, C++ Builder in the tutorials. Actually, I'm going to show you how to uh, use ICMP protocol and that is actually to uh, be able to ping some uh, web or network location. Uh, first, we are going to create new VCL Forms application and like I said, we are going to use ICMP client. We are going to name it like this. Uh, we are going to use edit field that will be use, used to define a web or network location that we want to ping. Actually to define a host. Our default host will be google.com. I'll use a list box. And list box will actually show uh, results. When pinging did ping uh, failed or succeeded and how. And I'll use a button. Button will actually do the pinging. Okay, so let's begin. So when I double click this button, actually when I click it, first I want to clear all items in my list box. and I want to define a host for my ICMP client. My host information is actually stored in this edit field, eHost. And so let's actually try that. I'm going to use try catch statements actually to show you what if network location, network or web location actually doesn't exist. Try what I'm going to do is uh, I will not ping just once. I'll actually use a classic four time pinging. and I simply call ping. Okay. I'll try to catch any uh, exceptions. If any exception occurs, then I'll simply uh, use items, add, Of course, uh, I want. Uh, I don't want that this uh, operation uh, just passes by real quick. Quick, so I'll actually use uh, sleep. Uh, that way, I can uh, simulate uh, ping for uh, every second. For example, first ping will actually occur right now. Then the second one for a second. Uh, third one for the next second, and so on. Okay, and this is pretty much pretty much it. So uh, when clicking a button, we'll uh, we'll actually try to ping uh, four times the desired host uh, using uh, one second in between. When pinging, we need uh, to check if there is any response. To do that, we have this uh, on reply event that we must activate. Okay, and now here we actually must uh, see how uh, to show uh, return information. To save time, I'll just copy-paste my code, actually uh, how it's done. 
we are simply going to create a new string unicode string and uh, all required information is actually stored in this uh, reply status and we just need to uh, collect all, all this information for example reply status bytes received uh, from IP address uh, time and time to live okay and when we collect it to one single string we actually add it to a list box let's let's test it okay try to ping Google com and I see it actually works I'll stretch it a, li a little bit as you can see you, you get uh, all the standard information that you uh, get well, using uh, st standard ping in the command pro prompt and uh, now I can actually uh, try to ping something that doesn't exist com x for example what will happen is the exception host not found ping failed so he he will try four times to actually ping that location and it failed and that is pretty much it uh, as you can see it is real simple there are only two things that you must do and that is to define host and to ping it and you need to specify this on reply uh, event in ICMP client and just uh, use this uh, part of the code to store all information in one string and simply show it in your list box or whatever component you choose so uh, like I said it is real simple and uh, that's it if you have any questions please be free to ask thank you for watching and see you next time